Uh, well, we're here to support the occupation by the Home Sweet Home campaign and the Irish Housing Network of what is a NAMA building, ironically a former uh, Department of Social Protection building, uh, and uh, housing activists and housing NGOs are now providing homeless accommodation for the many thousands of people who are now uh, homeless on the streets of Dublin because of the failure of the government to deal with the housing crisis and the disgraceful situation where NAMA, uh, a publicly financed body, is selling off uh, properties when these properties could be used uh, to deal with the housing and homelessness emergency. So uh, we want the public to support this fantastic initiative uh, and use it as an opportunity to put pressure on the government to demand real action to deal with the housing and homelessness crisis. But we've just come from the dial where we're actually going through the detail of Simon Coveney's bill on, uh, that's supposed to be dealing with this crisis and, and he's uh, allegedly doing great things with a 4% uh, rent control in designated areas but he's also putting through a major deal that will relax democratic planning and allow developers to run rip through this country. So there's a real contrast between what happens on the streets when people power it plays out and helps to actually deal directly with the crisis and it's very symbolic that it's in an AMA building that will probably uh, be sold to one of these vulture funds that will sell it on for an absolute fortune. The um, Wall Street uh, gang of, of um, Cerebus and um, all these big companies now own 80% of the distressed property throughout Europe. So they're the biggest landlords in Europe. So the rich in this world are in a feeding frenzy on the backs of the homeless in this country. So it's great that they're doing this. It's important that people power and direct action takes precedence over the nonsense that goes on in the likes of Doyle Aaron. Yeah, I think that the lack of urgency from Fine Gael in particular, they've had six years of not only doing nothing to resolve the housing and homelessness crisis, but actually making it worse, worse for people. Uh, the Labour Party were in power for five of those years. They did nothing but make it worse for people. The only way this crisis is going to be solved is through direct action. So to see activists, artists, trade unionists, those who are actually at the sharp end of the housing and homelessness crisis come here and take over a building is fantastic. We need more of it. We actually need the, the real lack of urgency from the politicians in power. They, they're going to protect landlords, they'll protect the property developers, they will not resolve the housing crisis in any meaningful fashion. And that leads to having so many people, 7,000 nearly homeless across the country, 6,000 in Dublin alone, there's 2,300 children in Dublin City living in temporary emergency accommodation. It's an absolute shameful situation in 21st century Ireland, so we need more direct action. So anybody who can volunteer, come down here to uh, Apollo House and give up uh, your time because it's badly needed. We need more direct action. Uh, and this is where it's really going to happen. The, the housing crisis, the homelessness crisis, is only going to be resolved by direct action, by people power, similar to what happened with the water charges.